Well, hey there. Hi, good morning, afternoon, whatever. What is it? Sunday, August 16th. I just kicked the entire table. Sunday, August 16th, right? Is it the 16th, Carol? Car no, we're not on the Mayan calendar. Why do you have a Mayan calendar and how did you fit that in there? It's huge. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I know it only goes up to 2012. Just ignore her. Well, hello, this is Christopher James with All Things Branson, Branson Talk, Kids Connection, blah, 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 blah. Here with this week's news from around Branson from the news desk. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. We are. It's beautiful outside, isn't it? We're going to go out exploring and uh, we use Sundays as uh, science Sundays. So what we do is we go out and we learn something new about science. So we find an animal that we've never seen or an insect, and then we come back home and at night we research it and all this stuff. It's a lot of fun. You should check it out. So Science Sundays. Well, but let's not waste any time because I want to get on to Science Sunday and hopefully everything is going to run property properly. So right now, if you could do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you're watching this and you can hear me. And uh, number two, as always, let me know where you are watching from, okay? So where are you? Where are you watching from? All that sort of thing. So uh, please be sure to let me know. Uh, but let's get right on to the news. Let me try this. Let me see if it works. And I may lose you all. No, it worked. Hey, look at that. Uh, wrong side. That lit up. It lit up. Okay, so announcements for Branson, Missouri. For those of you that live in Branson and those of you visiting Branson, Let's get to my big favorite thing that has been going on. And uh, let me just uh, try to do this on number. Let's see if we can do that. Yep. Look, if you post a comment, we're going to put it right there in the middle. So they should start appearing there. Yep. Okay. So we are so excited about this. Um, and, uh, you know, we found out from our friend uh, Tom over at the IMAX Entertainment Complex that uh, they are opening back up for movies uh, just in five days. August 21st, they are going to be opening up and showing brand new movies there. So that's nice. They've been showing some old classics there. We tried to make it over for Gremlins and uh, Empire Strikes Back was there and so on. So um, I'm curious, when was the last time have you been to a movie theater? Remember, we're trying to keep this interactive, okay? So don't be shy, comment. We'll post your comments and stuff. Uh, but when was the last time you were at a movie theater this year? Uh, well, any year, I guess. And what was the last movie that you saw? Okay. So uh, I'm just curious as to what movies people have been watching. So let me know the last movie that you actually saw in a theater, not at home, because we watched like three or four movies. It seems like a day. Uh, so let me know your favorite movie, your last movie that you saw. And just let me know your all-time favorite movie. And maybe I'll try to do uh, a little synopsis of it down there at the bottom because we're, we're really good at doing uh, short little reviews. Okay, so uh, new movies starting at the IMAX Entertainment Complex beginning on August 21st. Okay, next in announcements, and we're really happy about this, Julia King, who is, I believe, the president of uh, Point Royale the um, HOA board, I believe. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. But I know she is over at uh, Point Royale, has been appointed to, as a Branson alderman to replace Kevin McConnell. Now, some people are like, hey, why didn't he uh, give up his position before the election? Blah, blah, blah. Let me explain it to you, okay? The best that I can. He was not up for re-election, so they couldn't do that. Okay, so he left the position and they had a list of candidates, they voted on it, and they picked Julia King. So uh, good luck to Julia. I know she does a great job over at Point Royale because we own many places over at Point Royale and we like it a lot. Next in announcements, I'm excited about, the, oh, you can see, you can see my light ring. Look at that. It's kind of freaky, isn't it? Yeah, uh, but I'm very, very excited about this. And it is that on KRZK, my favorite country and or Western station here in the Ozarks. Uh, there's a new show featuring my friend, uh, Josh Clark. You know Josh Clark. He was the entertainment writer for the newspaper. But Josh Clark and Russ Willoughby, it's premiering tomorrow at 6 a.m. From 6 to 9 in the morning, they're going to have what's called The Upside. And it's focusing on positive things going on. They're going to have guests on. I don't know who might be a guest. Mm -hmm. this coming week here, uh, but they're going to focus on positive things and what makes people happy and 
and maybe inspirational things from what I understand. But it's a brand new show from 6 to 9 on KRZK. I believe that's 106.3. And if you tune in, you might hear some ads from somebody. Hmm? Advertising different things going on. Uh, lastly, in announcements, this one, my kids are so excited. And by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're asking people to post the last movie that they saw in a movie theater since IMAX is opening. So if you're just tuning in, do that. By the way, if you're commenting on YouTube, it's not live on YouTube. If you want to watch the live broadcast, because I get people posting on there and thinking that we're going to respond, um, you need to do it on Facebook, on the All Things Branson page. But the last announcement that we have for the day, and we are super, super, super excited about this, is that the aquarium at the boardwalk is scheduled to open in October, okay? And yeah, they're working like crazy, aren't they, Carol? I know. I know you're... No. No, that is why you're not allowed back at uh, Wonders of Wildlife there, because you can't just randomly swim with a shark. So, yeah, I know. It was a mess. Uh, but they're supposed to open by mid-October. They are also hiring. So if you're looking for a job, hmm, is anybody out there looking for a job? If you are, a comment with what kind of job you're looking. I'll pop it up on the screen because I'm all about helping you find your next job. And if you haven't, be sure to go to our Help One and Branson page as well. But they are hiring. And to get an application or get more information on that, go to aquariumattheboardwalk.com and you'll see a button that says Jobs. Okay? And it's not about Steve Jobs. I thought it was going to be like a biography of Steve Jobs. It's not because that would be fascinating, although there's been way too many movies. Oh, I forgot. We have one more announcement, and this is timely. Time is of the essence. Uh, and it is that the RecPlex is having their annual back-to-school uh, bash there, and it is today at from 2 to 4. Okay, so that's just in a couple of hours. Uh, so from 2 to 4 o'clock, and you can go there. The kids can, The kids need to go there. And they can get backpacks and school supplies and I think get popsicles. And it's it's going to be a drive up thing. Okay. Because that's the only smart way to do it right now. Okay. We're still being super careful. I hope you guys are being super careful too. We start, we're starting to see people that are like, hey, I'm sick of this. I don't want to do any of this stuff anymore. So must be over. It's not. Trust me. Just went through a whole thing. In entertainment. Did I get it? No. What happened? I missed it. Okay. I just messed something up. What did I do? Okay. All right. Uh, what I do? There it is. In entertainment news, our recommendation this week in entertainment is to check out Choices Concert Hall. Okay. All the information is uh, right over there. Mm -hmm. You can go to choicesentertainment.com, but you can see they're, they're bringing in different people to perform all the time. So you go there and it's like little concerts. And I, I think they also serve food. Okay. Have you been there? If you have, let me know. I am curious as to if you've been there and what you think of it and all that jazz. So be sure to do that. Okay. I'm getting some messages right now. So let me know if you've gone to concerts and if you've eaten there. Uh, not concerts. Uh, choices. Concert hall. So check it out. There's a quick little schedule that I did over there. So uh, let me know. So you guys aren't being very interactive. Like usually people are chiming in like crazy. You're awfully quiet. So... Let me know if you've been there. Let me know if you've eaten there. And we still want to know what the last movie was that you saw in a movie theater since IMAX Entertainment Complex is showing movies starting August 21st. New movies, I should point out. Okay, so go ahead. Pop it over there. We'll stick it on the screen. Our dining choice of the week. We love the BBQ. Okay, that means barbecue. Okay, barbecue. Um, we do love the BBQ. Cool kids call it BBQ. All right. Okay. Uh, and so we are going out to try out Oscars. Famous Ribs is not far from our uh, our uh, castle here. And so we're going to give it a shot. It's right there on Veterans Boulevard. And we are, we've been there before, but we're going back because we have been seeing all kinds of cool platters and stuff that they have. So have you been there? Have you eaten there? Okay, where's your favorite place for barbecue? That should start a discussion. Here's what I've learned. On any of our web pages, any of our groups, if we post anything about food, people go nuts, okay? And they want to comment about food and tell people why they're wrong about how they like something. That seems to be a big thing rather than telling somebody why you like something. They like to tell other people why they don't like something. Anyway, um, and uh, so we do love food, that is for sure. And so if we post anything about food, people go crazy. Speaking of which, you can go to our 
page and we're still doing the best of all things Branson and you'll see that we have not just these three categories there are a bunch of other categories so go to allthingsbranson.com you'll see a button over on the right side where you can pick and you can go in and see all of our surveys for the best of all things Branson and you can make a vote because we're going to be giving out some little recognitions here coming up all right you got it go do that okay as always check out Branson talk Check out Branson Dining. All these other ones are listed over here. If you're not a member of them, you should be, okay? You should be sure to check that out. So uh, be sure to do that. And before we get to the bonus, I just want to thank the sponsor, the property magician, Christopher James. Thank you. Thank you for sponsoring. Oh, wait, that's me. Yes, yes. See, uh, in case I haven't told you, I have uh, started my own real estate business here in Branson. And uh, so we have that going. So if you're looking to sell your property or looking to buy a property, I need houses to sell right now because I have a ton of people wanting to buy, but the houses are selling like super fast. So if you're interested, why pick me? I don't didn't plan on doing a little commercial, but I'll do it real quick. Why pick me? I mean, I just got certified as a commercial FAA drone pilot, so I can do that for you to sell your property or to check out a property. I've done that with some buyers. I've taken the drone and we've gone around and taken a look at the top of the property and stuff, the house, the roof and everything. I do virtual reality videos where we can walk through your property, not to mention that through all the different social media things I have, I have, uh, we counted it today, 112,000 people that follow me. And uh, my mailing list is like 70 some thousand people. So I can get your property out there, but enough of that. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, great. It's going great for those people. Uh, those people that are here in Branson looking for property. In fact, I'm just going to tell you, okay. I had some people come in from out of town because they've seen me, seen my videos. They see me at the show. And so they knew that I could help them find a house. So they came and spent the weekend this past weekend, this weekend, and two weekends ago. So uh, yeah, pretty busy. All right. The bonus of the day is kind of fun. And it is in the spirit of the uh, aquarium that is opening. We, um, a year or two ago, we went up to the Wonders of Wildlife up in in Springfield, and it was so much fun, okay? And by the way, that place is huge, okay? If you've been there, comment and let me know what part of it you like the most. Because when we went, they told us it was going to take us about four to five hours to walk through it. And I said, I have twins that are very impatient. They're not going to take that long, okay? And we got done in four and a half hours. We had so much footage. But we went ahead and did this little video. And so we thought we'd share that as the bonus. We hope that you're having a great weekend. Be sure to like and subscribe to All Things Branson on Facebook, on YouTube, and all of that. If you're interested in this house stuff, get a hold of me. I'll tell you what, you, what I can do. If you're selling a house, uh, I can tell you what your house may be worth, too, in like, I don't know like 30 seconds. It's really fast how fast we can look that up. But uh, go check it out. Uh, the aquarium stuff when they open. Go see a movie. Most of all, just have a great weekend. And please, for for the love of Odin, just be nice to each other. People are being so crazy right now. Aren't they, Carol? Yeah. Why are you staring at me like that? That is very confrontational. So I hope you're having fun. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I hope you guys continue to chat and carry on here. I'm Christopher James. Uh, it's been 15 minutes, so I got to get out of here. But enjoy this video. All right? Bye-bye.
for a whole entire year to be able to come in. And it looks so cool from the outside, even up close. We're the only people here. Well, kind of. And on the outside, there's different games and stuff that you can go to. Whoa, I feel like I'm going to fall. There's, stuff, there's something that, there's a whirl thing that makes you go upside down, too. And there's this dinosaur thing. It's so fun. And it's 3D. There's this other light thing game. that you, there's a game that you have to make cool your Cool stairs, fun. too. And there's a laser maze. It's not really that hard. It's still fun. There's this motion body sensor thing too, so you're going in slow motion, you can see your body moving. That looks scary. And there's rides and air hockey. And a cool sand thing too, where if you dig, then dinosaurs pop out of it. This is, oh look at this, there's this light thing. Cool piano too. A bed and of nails. Skateboarding thing too. It's super cool. Bubbles. Sands where you can study about different types of animals. So and cool. fossils. Look at that. There's this cool bead thing where you have to find a one yellow bead. But I found it. This cool yellow detector thing. And Legos. Legos. Whoa, Dr. Seuss. That's my name. There's this cool t Titanic thing and a water thing too. And there's this moon thing where you can check out the moon and go into a rocket ship. There's so much cool stuff that you can learn about even in, in even like you're riding a jetpack. Rock walls too. And stuff where you can put your head in. There's so much cool stuff and games. A lot of games. Prizes that you can win too. This, and you can see other places that you've never seen. A lot of rockles. And you can fly a plane. Wow! That was so much fun! What was my, your favorite part? My favorite part was being able to go on all the rides and the 3D stuff and all the games. Well, obviously I made a mistake. Uh, I guess that shows you how lazy I am on Sundays. Is that I only made it to the W, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't Wonders of Wildlife. It was Wonderworks. So I hope you enjoy that. We'll get to Wonders of Wildlife next week. But I got things to do. My kids want to do stuff, and I'm tired of being inside. So get outside, do some stuff. We might see you out and about. If we do, say hi. See ya.